Reno Turkatna. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm uh, pleased to be speaking on the first reading of this bill. But, sir, let me state at the outset the Labour Party is opposing this bill. So be prepared for a long night ahead. We are opposing this bill because this bill is adequately, border processing is adequately funded out of, um, from the Crown and there is no need to be imposing a travel tax on the good folks of New Zealand. Let's look at this. This is a travel tax which is going to be levied on every traveller, every passenger, families going on their trips, um, and our important tourists that we rely on coming into our country. It's a tax that will be put on everybody. For the privilege of leaving our shores, folks will be paying an extra $22 for the round trip. And the same applies to international visitors who we want to come, we want to welcome into our country. An extra tax that's going to be put on them. And this is one more tax that's being put on Kiwis. And it's another broken promise another broken promise from this government. And we have seen time and time again in this budget the broken promises in terms of impositions of taxes. And this is yet another one. Taxing Kiwis, ordinary Kiwis who want to go on that trip overseas, taxing them to be able to go over and see their loved ones. And it's a broken promise, sir. And uh, we, uh, we may want to argue around uh, the terminology. It's very clear. A levy you might want to call it a border clearance levy, but it's still a tax. It is a tax, and John Key, John Key is even, he, he, he can't even explain the difference. When he was asked, John Key said, oh, Google it. He, he, he didn't even want to, he didn't even want to front up. He didn't even want to front up, but I tell you what, we didn't need to Google. Order. We didn't need to Google. We just went to the uh, Oxford Dictionary. And what does the Oxford Dictionary say? The definition of levy is a tax raised by levying. So whether it's a levy or a tax, potato, potato, tomato, tomato, it's, they're all the same. They're all the same. Soccer, football, they're both the same. And so this is yet another broken promise from this government. The imposition of a tax, a broken promise, and... and Let's spare a thought, sir. Let's spare a thought, sir, for the New Zealand tourism industry, yeah. because they are the ones who have been let down by this government with this measure, and they have had a casual minister who has just flip-flopped along, flip-flopped along, um, trying to sort of say, yes, this is what I'm going to do for this for our wonderful tourism industry. And what has he done here? He blindsided them. He blindsided our, the tourism industry. They had no idea this was coming. The Prime Minister was talking to them just a few days ago, and they were completely blindsided by this. And the irony, sir, is this. The Prime Minister, the casual Minister of uh, Tourism, has been advocating, has been working with the industry to try and encourage our major uh, this, um, markets for international uh, visitors to bring down or to eliminate their um, uh, travel taxes. And yet, now he's going against our, the work that's been going on from the New Zealand tourism industry in Australia and in the UK. He's done in a complete about face and he didn't even have the courtesy to, to even give a heads up to the New Zealand tourism industry. And let's not forget, the tourism industry is the second largest generator of foreign exchange earnings for our country. In excess of $10.4 billion, it brings in a lot. And they know. When, uh, when the Prime Minister was asked, oh, um, how does he know? It's, he, he says it's not gonna, it won't make a blind bit of difference. It won't make a blind bit of difference. How does he know that? Because just a few years ago, he was, he was trying to advocate on behalf of our industry to try and make sure that um, we can have more freer passage to, to bring down those, uh, those travel tax costs for our visitors. And so, there you go, a flip-flop, casual Prime Minister. You know, sir, there's a Twitter, Twitter handle going now. The, the Prime Minister flip-flops so much, he's been called Jandal John. <laughs> Jandal John. More flip-flops than the number one shoe warehouse. That's what, that's what John Key is. Jandal John. 
Jandal John. And if you look up that hashtag, you can just see all of the flip flops, all of the flip flops that this prime um, prime minister has done. And there's plenty of them in this budget, sir. And so the the tourism the tourism industry has been let down. <laughs> the tourism industry has been incredibly let down. But sir, I want to I want to move on. I want to move on and look at what what is the uh, what is this tax going to be paying for? And of course, we do want increased uh, uh, border border um, bolstering our biosecurity systems. Everyone wants that. You know, we like to see the the, the, the little the little beagles um, at the at our airports and in, increased uh, increased X-ray machinery. We like that, but it's already paid for out of the crown. Crown funding has paid for that. And now you're passing that on to everyday Kiwis and everyone who wants to go on a, on a, on, a, on a flight overseas. But, sir, if we look behind that, what else? What else will that levy be? What else will the tax? What else? What else will the tax be paying for? And so, sir, I want to mention four letters which you really hear about these days, for, out of MPI and Customs, JBMS. The Joint Border Management System. Remember that? That was the great merging of the IT platforms between MPI and in Customs. The joint Border Management System. The JBMA. That's right, sir. Remember that. What we have seen a failure of MPI and Customs to deliver on that system. Three years too late and 30 million over budget. And we still probably won't have it by the end of this year, when, which has been the, uh, the, the due date. It's, it's been put off, it's been delays, and it's been costly. And you know what, sir? It's been shrouded in secrecy. That's right. This government has been trying to put a veil of secrecy over it because there's a major dispute, sir. There's a major dispute going on with IBM, the contractor. And they've had crisis talks after crisis talks trying to work with them. A hundred million dollars has been chipped into this project and we still haven't seen the delivery of a first tranche or anything. Risk and intelligence. Risk and intelligence. What, is, what has been delivered under the JBMA for risk and intelligence? Nothing. Nothing. Risk and intelligence Totally lacking, sir. And so what will this levy be paying for? What will people be paying this tax on? We need to know what the true cost will be. Because what we don't want to see, sir, is that this levy is just a subsidising the budget blowout from JMS. And that's what these levies... That's what this tax will be doing. Subsidising the cost blowouts. Because we know, sir, it's not, just a, it's not just a cost recovery. It's not a simple cost recovery exercise because there is a very broad discretion to the minister. Sure, there is consultation that has to take place, but at the end of the day, it's a very broad discretion of the minister to, um, to set these levies. And once the taxes have been set, sir, there's no end for what the greed of a government and a minister will do in terms of collecting revenue. And it's a cash cow. It's an easy cash cow to pick from travel from travellers. And they'll be they'll, rest assured, sir, they will be using this to subsidise the big black hole, the thirty million dollar black hole we already have at the moment on the JBMS system. And sir, that is the real scandal of this government that the people of New Zealand who have invested $100 million into that system, sure they've got a trade single window and people can input cargoes in terms of the freight industry, but what about the core of that system? The core of that system, which was to modernise and have uh, sophisticated new tools of risk and intelligence. What happens in that regard? What does MPI biosecurity pull out of JBMS? You never hear about it. It's been taken off off the agenda because it's a disaster, sir. It's an absolute disaster. And this is just the cynical attempt by this government to raise revenue to try and fill the, the huge black hole that's been created 
by that failed system. And we're not going to be getting out of it, it's going to be getting worse and worse. And so, sir, this is a poor piece of legislation, it's another tax, and we oppose it, and we will oppose it all the way to midnight. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Nikki